Hi, how's it? In the name of Christ, how you doing? It's Garabo. Um, I hope you're good. I hope you're peachy. I hope you're Stella and I hope you're in a neat little bunch. It's Sunday, the 11th of February 2024. Uh, and it's a, a whatever day. Okay, so do you like my hair? Mm. Yeah, my mini braids appear to be coming in handy. That's what I look like from that side. Da 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 da. And from that side. Yeah. Kept together by sticky tape because I don't have bobby pins, but nonetheless, it's my hairstyle. Anyway, yeah, uh, I'm a little bit flat today. Look, I'm flat every day. It's just that I, um, you know, I come with more oomph some days than others because of energy that I have. So anyway, let's just put some caveats out there. First and foremost, I very potentially might be wearing application makeup. If I am, you will know. Because it's going to be bouncing off my face, up and down and whatnot. I'm not shape-shifting its makeup. Look out for that. My captions as well. They're not always accurate. They're sometimes misspelled. Sometimes it's the wrong word together. They are also irreverent, so they use a small g for God. Stuff like that. Just be on the lookout. I don't have an editor. I don't have anybody to help me along, so we just kind of keep them. Plus, I like them. They're cute. Uh, I'm wearing a white car sunscreen, so if there's a little bit of a flashback on the camera... It's my sunscreen, there's nothing I can do, plus it's beneficial to me, I like it, okay? So we keep it, like you can see the white cast border around there and what have you. It's my sunscreen. But it's beneficial, like I said, it helps me with skincare. And it, um, I don't know what's in it, okay? Uh, well, I guess I do know what's in it, but it's, it's helpful. Anywho, anyhow, oh yeah, my segment uh i'm only human after all i'm only human after all i'm only human after all don't take a jab at me blah 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 what a what a fish paste etc so uh pinching my cheeks i'm trying to blush them i'm not in the mood today but anyway whatever evidencing that when you prick me i bleed okay anywho anyhow let's just get straight yeah in other words i get hurt like i'm human again okay. <sighs> I really don't know what's happening. I'm just seeing so much. Um, plus there's just all this chaos in the world. All over the show. There's just a lot of chaos. Just too much. Way more than, frankly, is uh, allowable. I don't know what's going on, y'all. <laughs> this world. This country. This whole thing. <sighs> Yo, eh, <ish>, y'all. <laughs> um, anyway, this is what God has given me. All right for life uh, uh, really i really don't know where this is all gonna end up but one thing that i certainly keep getting attacked by is just the notion that the thing that's hurting me or destroying my life is my jesus christ onlyism my christ onlyism so me holding on to jesus and jesus only Yo, I, I don't know how many times I can say this concerning the kingdom of darkness. If nobody has a way out of whatever it is that you do to them, unless they consult the darkness, then it's okay, really. Those people that choose to die have chosen well. That's all I can say. If this darkness is the only way a person can live, it's a chaotic world. It's cantankerous. It's destructive it's uninhabitable essentially uh it produces out of entire societies a very cataclysmic disorderly crime state i don't know if you guys have seen the movie apocalypto i will say this over and over again i keep raising it in the movie apocalypto there is this ancient civilization that prides itself in human sacrifices where people's heads keep on getting chopped and everything and rolled down some steep staircase and then the uh, inhabitants the natives of that land will then be like Ooh! ululating jumping up and down on the spot celebrating as they worship the moon or the sun or something there is no order in that society but there's nobody staying what's going on nobody dead breaking there's nobody correcting the situation the tears of the victims mean nothing because everybody is in a trance it's like they're drunk on devil possession so they cannot wince at death they cannot be disturbed essentially by that which is just carnage 
and uh, yeah well for me it's like that's south africa that's that's all of this ancestral worship you get so taken over by your demons that you can't even wince when it's time to wince you can't wince you you don't appropriately respond you don't go when people get hurt you you don't look around with awe at anomalies at aberrant activity in the streets you don't and so i mean to walk around such an abnormal world hoping that people that see it for what it is and don't want to be a part of it will someday wake up to realize that there's no other way to live but abnormally shoo man it just helps you believe the bible it just helps you get to a point of realizing the great apostasy is upon us and that we are living in second timothy 3 last days where people are lovers of themselves they're lovers of money boastful proud blasphemous disobedient to parents and then for that whole year you get my point okay like that moral turpitude written off in, in second timothy 3 mm -mm 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 -mm. yeah you show with your behavior that that's just that's the world and you're cool with it like that like yeah i mean yeah i mean the strong delusion guys like there's nothing i can say it's like the the strong delusion is here the thing that is absolutely abnormal it's aberrant but like people are just gliding in it anyway they're rolling with it yo i used to belong to a society i used to belong to people <laughs> to a particular environment and all of it it's just chanting grunting like that ancient civilization i don't know what under heaven would even call it a civilization because it's uncivilized they like that and they're just ululating and grunting and cheering and sweating and committing all different kinds of abominations in a state of group think <laughs> in a state of group think mm, 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 mm. in a state of group think that that no one is snapping out of like literally absolutely nobody is snapping out of it yo i i i i, 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 I don't know yesterday i did a message a video where i was talking about how the lord is inevitably going to judge america um they're they're gonna fall because they can't just stand on the chest of the gospel and expect to be okay and you know when when you highlight something or when or rather when somebody points something out to you when somebody points something out to you that you did not notice before now that you see it you just can't unsee it it's just in your face like it it it, it boot prints you like it kicks you like with the hind legs of a horse every time you you can't unsee it and ever since the lord has been alerting me to the insanity of america and its agenda on social media uh, at the expense of africa at the expense of content creators elsewhere across the world i can't unsee it now i am especially um aware every time i click on a video in spite of no i click on it indiscriminately like it's not like i i'm actually choosing to click on an american but literally like everybody that i click on is american like everyone i read the title i'm interested and when i'm in the video it's an american it's an american i can't unsee it there was a time when it it, it, it didn't uh, dawn on me as anything I didn't pick it up because it wasn't highlighted it was not shoved in my face now it is in my face and all i can think is they are literally pushing nothing but american content they're that desperate like literally they're that desperate they're so desperate that they, they they're willing to silence the whole planet in favor of their own people at the expense of everybody else being hurt and the collateral damage of that is the gospel not getting to people through anyone um, other than americans a very small number of non uh, of non-american people are you able to see that whole thing I'm, I'm picking it up like i'm noticing it more and more and it's becoming more and more disturbing because it was highlighted to me god tapped on my shoulder and told me that this is what's happening uh with the us they're blocking the gospel through servants of mine that don't live there they're literally blocking it and they are a massive massive barrier to entry in the worst way uh to to everybody and precisely because of clicking on so much american content the viewpoint is also skewed you know of what's actually happening the american population are by far the most convinced uh the most the american population of christians they're by far the most convinced that the rapture is happening tomorrow it's over it's ending the world is ending because their country's ending things are falling apart for them that in a way that they've never fallen apart before so the magnifying the things on the earth such that you will end up literally thinking we're at the very end and end but 
the only reason why I believe that we are at the end 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 is because my own country is so crazy. I live in a in a, in a dungeon. Uh, I live in some strange, weird, crazy country. Like, guys, South Africa. I don't know. Like I'm always complaining about this place. So I'm wondering, God. Okay, so you have shown me that the U.S. is deliberately manipulating the narrative. Clearly, obviously. I mean, that's kind of that's kind of dull for anybody at all that's been watching the world. They will know that that's a dull thing. Uh, it's of course happening, but the the the, the, the magnitude of it is extreme okay but like when i look at south africa i'm like okay so america is crazy but so too is south africa in an aberrant way in an abnormal way in a way that it's never been crazy before they're walking in group think they're hulating chanting grunting ooh, 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 over heads of people being rolled down a staircase they're crazy like yeah and they're crazy just keeps on getting worse and worse so is this a judgment on america and south africa but it's better somewhere else i don't know and and yesterday i was i spoke about how it is that uh, south korea k drama is not as evil as like the entertainment industry there is not as ridiculous as america um so i mean that's a what i would i would imagine is a uh the tantamount or the equivalent of a safe spot for now not as tarnished not as messed up but then i look at my country and i'm like is there anywhere safe is there anywhere normal is there anywhere where people are not deliberately throwing each other over the edge what we see on social media are those are all those people like the exception to the norm or are they the norm are they the ex are they the exception or are they the norm are they the thing that is regular and ordinary or are they <laughs> guys i'm trying to understand if there's really people in this world that feel like everything is gonna be okay I, like i, I just want to know like I, are you gonna tell me that a, a person that has been alive for more than 20 years cannot see that something's very terribly wrong with this world like that that stuff has just changed man like it's not like going through the modes in life and being an angst because of i can see it because because i guess getting older means you get to see more rubbish on the part of the human race this is different it's just so extreme what people are doing it is so 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 extreme that i, I can't help but like i said america's crazy but is it crazy on its own it's not crazy on its own it's crazy with much of the west but look at what's happening in africa guys like i'm sorry yes oh goodness gracious look yo people are crazy i'm just like as in like extreme mental illness like madness madness unfettered unchained like just madness i am yo i'm sorry yes, like guys mm -mm. the level of occult involvement by people across the world it's just and they're not snapping out of it they're not snapping out of it do you know what <laughs> that's why i don't know is this america only is this south africa or is it actually going on like you know dead people they often vomit things that is the sentiment of demons and by dead people i mean the dead those that are not saved and the more involved in the occult it is the more they utter demonic sentiment little 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 is it little uzi bert or little uzi vert or little uzi Ver, some american rap guy um said on stage the other like he keeps saying to people that you're going to hell with me because i'm in hell too okay we know that's the thing that he keeps saying but recently you know what he said he said y'all are here at my concert clearly you didn't make the rapture like he proper said that he said y'all are here at my concert clearly you didn't make the rapture you're going to hell with me you didn't make the rapture i mean when have you ever heard a musician a rapper talking about the rapture like now i'm not speaking christian rap here i'm so, like like a secular art like there are things that people like when they mock god they say certain random stuff that typically is said by those who mock god but they don't go into the details of theology like to just blurt something out like rapture and lil uzi vert or whatever his name is went out here on stage thoroughly telling his audience that clearly y'all are 
you've missed the rapture you're not going into the kingdom of heaven you're here in my concert so you've obviously missed the rapture i'm sorry like yo as i it's demonic sentiment that that's that's that man's demons talking to people on stage because those demons just like us as human beings on the earth that speculate and look for jesus are able to gauge themselves even though they themselves too don't know the day or the hour they're able to figure out more or less <laughs> oh we've got some problems okay just how far gone the human race is <laughs> enough for them to speculate successfully too through the vessels that they end while that the rapture is near to like yeah what, i mean if demons are speaking through uzi verge saying that the rapture is yeah guys that we should listen what is the kingdom of darkness saying what are demon possessed people doing and what are they saying to suggest that perhaps we're going home is there a future for the planet with things happening at this diabolical rate is there a future i told you guys that two days ago i had a dream where yes oh god have mercy you know what like y'all i'm tired i'm exhausted y'all can see um i had a i had a dream it was so so busy there was just so much activity so cataclysmic the world had manuals as in training manuals as in people hired for jobs a new industry <laughs> y'all come on like you know what uh, <laughs> you know what like the world does not revolve around my dreams i get it but you know what my dreams come true so when i see stuff i say it i prophesy i speak because the lord has shown me that my prophetic gifting is legit because certain things i've dreamt about and they happened within a day two days in a very scary way so things that are going to happen in the far future i believe what i see in my dreams concerning them because of all the other short-term fulfillments that i've seen in the, guys god have mercy I, i'm tired y'all i'm tired i'm tired in my dream there was like a whole new industry like a new job position then was opened a new career essentially god have mercy oh my goodness god have mercy yeah. hollywood and predictive programming hollywood and predictor guys i i don't know what to do i'm emotional i want to cry but you know what my tears mean nothing i just i cry and i i try i can't cry because this it, it produces nothing but this is emotional stuff it's tear jerking it should be it should be if y'all don't think we're going home guys we're going home i don't know when this morning i was woken up with a song in my head make you feel my love by adele uh but i rewrote that song my own lyrics you guys know that i rewrote my own music if you've been following me for any amount of time um and that song is about basically how it is that people are gonna bully me until christ is gonna show that i'm loved through the rapture and the millennial reign and the song that i rewrote yeah adele was ringing in my head i was it was like my alarm to wake up in the morning or afternoon seeing as i sleep in the wee hours of the morning and wake up in the afternoon yeah the alarm clock ding, 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 was that adele song but my remake it's it's a whole song premised around being mocked and scoffed at until the rapture happens and then afterwards the millennial reign you will rule them for a thousand years i'll make them see your love that's one of the lyrics they left you hungry left you black and blue they'll come crawling just to honor you that's the table that i've laid for you i'll make them see your love i'm actually tempted to go to the car to get the lyric sheet for that particular song and sing it to you so you can understand what god was telling me this morning in my dream i do not know i like i probably like, i don't know if we still have time here if i'm gonna go and get married looking all pretty to some handsome guy that's gonna love the living daylights out of me or if i'm just gonna get caught up in this guy go home like enoch i walk with god and so he takes me i i <laughs> i'm gonna go get that song let me pause what's up i'm back i actually picked up um four songs instead of just one yeah why did i take this one? Oh, i was supposed to take just three 
um, yeah, the Adele one, yeah, make you feel my love, is the one that I uh, essentially dreamt, not dreamt, I was woken up by it like an alarm, the Lord telling, he was talking, okay, he was, he was talking, all right, the dream that I had that other day, there was like a whole new career created on the earth, and I'm gonna speak about predictive programming right now in the, in the entertainment industry and how it is that it's just enabled you guys to get a picturesque view of what's gonna come on the earth. Like, I just, uh, um, yes, like it, y'all. Hey, I'm nice. Anyway, before we get into the message, I wanna, I mean, I'm already into my message, but let me sh tell you what, what, what song woke me up this morning afternoon get my point the lyrics here they are i rewrote that make you feel my love song yeah adele the lyric sheets are sitting in the car so i went and fished the relevant music okay listen to this you guys know adele's song how it goes if you've not listened to my music before listen now it goes when your pain is growing you have grace like I'm proper I'm just sitting thinking I'm gonna get married like some dude is gonna rock up and surprise me God is gonna surprise me with a Sarah pregnancy God is gonna surprise me with a loving husband later in life all that jazz and then just when I'm thinking that <laughs> just when I am speaking the stuff that I spoke yesterday about Asia taking on the reins from America yesterday because they are yet to be so filthified that nobody can breathe that they're um, in a position not to influence the world more beneficially than america ever has and then i i i get told about this i get reminded where we find ourselves so perhaps there is no rapture not rapture sorry uh mariage coming just going home and then just watching the hunger games from the sky yeah as the capital let's read these lyrics and just get straight into it okay it goes if i'm not projecting my voice it's only because i don't have energy and i'm tired of persecution by yeah get my point so i don't want to raise my voice anyway when your pain is growing you have grace i'm also trying to articulate my words so you can hear them so i'm not going to be too singy i'm going to be more talky okay when your pain is growing you have grace when the whole world wants you erased i will soften them till they embrace through you they'll see my love when they live in shadows and their bars appear and they think no one's here to dry your tears you will rule them for a thousand years i'll make them see you're loved mm, mm, mm. although they may not have made their minds up yet mm. Mm. They'll see I'm God, I do no wrong. Mm. 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 They'll know that from the moment that I bled. All doubt, I'm the Christ, will make them mourn. I want to sing that again, only because I messed up. <laughs> okay. Where am I? Through you, they'll... Mm. Though they may not have made their earth, I'll make them see your love. Though they may not have made their minds up yet uh, uh, They'll see I'm God, I do no wrong mm, mm, mm. They'll know that from the moment that I bled I keep messing up That I bled Whatever All doubt I'm um, the Christ will make them mourn mm, mm left you hungry left you black and blue mm, mm. they'll come crawling just to honor you mm, mm. that's the table that i've lain for you mm, mm. to make them see you loved uh, uh, um. 
Their storms will rage while I reveal your plea. Ta, ta. They're on the highway of regret. Ta, 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 ta. Though wound with chains, they're strangely wild and free. Ta, they ain't seen nothing like me yet. Ta, ta. I will make you trapping, make you dream of a fools. Ta, ta. All things that will work for you ta, ta. Give you the ends of the earth for food ta, ta. To make them see you're loved ta, ta, ta. To make them see you're loved Yeah, this song was just ringing in my mind The rewrite, not the original Adele song the one that I rewrote and it's a song about mockery and scoffing that is then succeeded by the rapture and then the millennial reign where those that used to mock will now grovel at my feet and come and honor me uh I will make you trapping like as in you're gonna trap some animals make you dream of fools you're gonna dream about them and I just keep dreaming about them all things that will work for you let me sing it fast at the regular pace so you can rehear these lyrics and understand what Jesus is literally has just told me this morning woke me up using a song I rewrote to explain to me where we find ourselves in the prophetic timeline and I'm like are we really going home or am I gonna go on right ahead and be a blushing bride I don't know when your pain is growing you have grace when the whole world wants you erased I'll soften them till they embrace da -da -da. Through you they'll see my love da -da -da -da. When they live in shadows and their bars appear da -da -da. And they think no one's here to dry your tears Ta -da -ta. You will rule them for a thousand years Ta -da -ta. I'll make them see you're loved Ta -da -ta. Though they may not have made their minds up yet Ta -da -ta. They'll see I'm God, I do no wrong Ta -da -ta -ta -ta. They'll know that from the moment that I bled all doubt I'm the Christ will make them mourn da -da 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 -da. Left you hungry, left you black and blue da -da -da. They'll come crawling just to honor you da -da -da. That's the table that I've laid for you da -da -da. To make them see you're loved da -da 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 -da. Their storms will rage while I reveal your plea. They're on the highway of regret. Though wound with chains, they're strangely wild and free. They ain't seen nothing like me yet. I will make you trapping, make you dream of fools. All things that will work for you ta -da -ta. Give you the ends of the earth for food ta -da -ta. To make them see you're loved ta -da -ta -ta -ta. To make them see you're
loved. Mm. That part where it is written, give you the ends of the earth for food. It's essentially a fulfillment of Matthew 5 where it is written the meek, where it is written that the meek will inherit the earth. Blessed are the meek for they will inherit the earth or the meek will inherit the earth and delight themselves with abundant uh, peace. And that happens in the tribulation. So, I mean, this is what woke me up, but similar music that I wrote, I just want to sing it to you real quick. Hopefully you can hear the lyrics. Please don't focus on the voice. Sometimes I choke up. Ed Sheeran's photograph that I rewrote. Listen to this, man. It's the thing I'm crying about. Like all of this evil that's just unabated, unfettered. It's not simmering down. It's not calming down. It's not taking a breather. It's not reclining a chair. It's just carrying on. Hey, guys. Alrighty. And with me and I guess those like me trying to defibrillate people from the dead trying to wake them up to see guys you can't carry on like this and it's just not coming out of it <laughs> okay zang, zang, za, za, zang, zang, za, za, zang. loving can hurt zang, zang, zang. loving Christ hurts sometimes zang, zang. But it's the only way that I know. Zang, 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 zang. When it gets hard, he warned it would get hard sometimes. Zang, zang. It is the narrow way that truly is life. Zang, zang, zang. Mm hmm. On it we love even though it's rough tsa -da -tsa -tsa -tsa. We walk past heresies died self For our eyes are never closing Though our hearts are ever broken But sublime forever holds us still And the Lord will keep me Inside his pocket show that I'm a scene Holding me close till I'm from death Freed, I won't ever be alone. Wait for the king, I'm going home. Za, za, za. His love in me heals. Za, za, za. His love in me mends lost souls. Zang, zang. Showing the only way they should know. No. Zang, 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 but these days men get see, but these days men get seedier, outnumbered they think they can bring peace in here, mm, and it's the very thing that'll make them love antichrist, zum, 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 mm -mm. but we still love even though it's rough. Zang, zang, zang. Highlight these heresies all for help. But their eyes are ever closing. Their hearts are never open. And time's no longer swollen. It is spilled. So Christ will reap his from inside the pocket of the heaven lease. Hell will enclose earth while our eyes see it while we're encircled round his throne and if they turn see they're okay sadly though they will bleed rock of all ages will come hold and these known he'll never let them go welcoming them back home so so, gathering round his throne, zoom, zoom, waiting for all the stoned, za, za, waiting till they come home, ooh. Then there's the sixth seal, inside the reckless will fear rain while their moon bleeds, trembling heartbeats will their kings scream hiding deep within the soil and if they turn and see they're okay sadly though they will bleed rock of all ages will come hold and these known he'll never let them go when i'm away mm, only remember how you risked me under your lying boast thrown on the street hearing you whisper through the phone 
So he took me back home. It's above the rapture. Like, listen to the part where it's like, so Christ will reap his. So he will take the church from inside the park, from inside the pocket of the heavenlies. He will reap us from inside heaven. And then hell will enclose earth while our eyes see it. In other words, hell, as in death and Hades, is going to enclose the earth while our eyes from heaven see it. So Christ will reap his from inside the pocket of the heaven leaves how will enclose earth while our eyes see it while we're encircled round his throne while we're encircled round his throne his servants great multitudes in heaven and if they turn see in other words and if people repent and end up seeing they're gonna be okay but sadly though they will bleed so it's like says and if they turn see they're okay sadly though they will bleed but rock of all ages will come hold these known he'll never let them go because now he knows them depart from me work of iniquity i never knew you but if he knows you he knows you welcoming them back home gathering around his throne waiting for all the stoned or beheaded stoned rhymed um waiting till they come home and then the sixth seal is the one where the moon turns to blood and the kings of the earth are like rocks fallen us um hide us from the one seated on the throne and the wrath of the lamb hide hide us from them yeah well this one says then there's the sixth seal inside the reckless will fear in while the moon bleeds trembling heartbeats will this kings scream hiding deep within the soil it's like then when the sixth seal is is opened inside the reckless so reckless people they're gonna fear is gonna rain in their hearts while when the moon bleeds so when the moon gets turned into blood inside the reckless will fear rain when the moon bleeds trembling heartbeats will their kings scream hiding deep within the soil and if they turn see they're okay sadly though they will bleed rock of all ages will come hold these known he'll never let them go and then when i'm away only remember how you risked me you literally risked my life like when I'm, i've been caught up in the sky remember how you risked my life under your lying boast you threw me on the street hearing you whisper through the phone all that gossip so he took me back home Trembling heartbeats will their kings scream. Rocks fall on us, hiding deep within the soul. Hide us from the one seated on the throne. That's what I was writing here. Um, yeah, a similar song. Wrote this these lyrics um some time ago. Maybe it's been two years now, and we're still here. So I've I've gone on right here to believe that maybe maybe I'm getting married. You know what I mean? But like it's like it doesn't appear as if that's what's going on i then rewrote jp axis if the world was ending i have a lot more music that's similar to this but this is all i could find in the car in the dark and plus i wasn't trying to sing okay uh let me read you jp x featuring julia michaels if the world was ending my remake okay uh they're so distracted Doo -doo -dum -dum. yeah they're so distracted and it's tragic shrugging off even when these earthquakes flatten don't believe that they are sinking instead they're out drinking sitting in their living rooms chilling watching television it's been eight years now been delivered to drown letting me die slow with no communicated way out I know through groans he knows fools weren't crowned from forever and it's time they know you know we groan feel we're meant for eternal life with Christ mm -mm -mm. now that the world is ending they embolden spite even bolder to decay your plight cold they starve us for the hell of it all our tears to them irrelevant and now that the world is ending how the earth they blight the sky is falling hurdling your contrite they don't even have a reason why they insist we get left traumatized now that the world is ending there's no faith in sight
for Christ. And now that the world is ending, they just scorn you plight. Defiant. We show them the passion, your reaction. Death on the cross and then the earthquake flattened. No, and then the earthquake happened right when Adam started sinning. That night we went sinking, wrestled against your house and lost our place among the living. It's been 2,000 years now. They think they figured out how, how to sin against you without it ripping their souls out. But you know, through groans, they know they'll fall down, spent forever without Christ. I know, you know, we know, we weren't meant for this level of defiance. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Now that the world is ending, they embolden spite, even bolder to decay your plight. Cold, they starve us for the hell of it. All our fears to them irrelevant Now that the world is ending, how the earth they blight The sky is falling, hurdling your contrite They don't even have a reason why They insist we get left traumatized Now that the world is ending, there's no faith in sight It's all over, Christ Please come over, please come over, please come shed your light Mm -mm -mm. I know through groans he knows fools weren't crowned from forever and it's time They know you know we groan feel we're meant for eternal life with Christ mm -mm -mm. Now that the world is ending magnify our fight Make us bolder that they'd see the light Would you show them that hell does exist? Make them fear all your magnificence Now that the world is ending, make them all keep quiet See how appalling is their bold disguise Show they'll soon find out the reason why All their evil had to multiply It's cause the world was ending and they stayed corrupt, handed over, made them hopeless so you'd reap your bride. Mm -hmm. Now that the world has ended, have you chosen Christ? I'm saying, yeah, similar music. So we show, like, yeah, second verse. We show them the passion, your reaction. Death on the cross and then the earthquake happened right when Adam started sinning. That night we went sinking, wrestled against your house and lost our place among the living. It's been 2,000 years now. They think they figured out how, how to sin against you without it ripping their souls out. Like just the darkness of this world. Dark, dark, dark. All the music that I'm rewriting. That I rewrote, sorry. Uh, and here at the time of writing the song, it has been eight, it had been eight years. It's been eight years now. Being delivered to drown. It was eight years that I was in persecution. Uh, it's almost 10 now, isn't it? So this was written two years ago. It's almost 10 years. Yeah, I wrote this two years ago. It's been eight years now. So basically the, um, the remake, I guess, of uh, to catch up with the time that I'm in is sitting in the room, sitting in their living rooms, chilling, watching television. It's been 10 years now. Been delivered to drown. Letting me die slow with no communicated way out. They're letting me die slowly with no communicated way out. But I know through groans, creation groans to see the sons of God revealed. He knows, Jesus, that is, that fools weren't crowned from forever. So essentially they were... Um, predestinated from eternity past to just walk in all of this wickedness they are the wicked set apart for the day of our trouble but now it's time for us they know you know we grow and feel we're meant for eternal life with christ now that the world is ending they embolden spite we are going home y'all like it just it seems so obvious to me but uh, look not really actually some days i'm confused um 
I'm not really sure what to believe. Adele, make you feel my love. That's what God is telling me that we're going home. Like we are, we are going home. When your pain is growing, you have grace. When the whole world wants you, erase. I will soften them till they embrace. Through you, they'll see my love. But they're only gonna be softened at the rapture. When they live in shadows and their bars appear, and they think no one's here to dry your tears, you will rule them for a thousand years i'll make them see your love though they may not have made their minds up yet they'll see i'm god i do no wrong they'll know that from the moment that i bled all down on the christ will make them mourn they left you hungry left you black and blue now they'll come crawling just to honor you. That's the table that I've laid for you to make them see your love. <laughs> Their storms will reach while I reveal you, please. They're on the highway of regret. The wind will change this strangely wild and free. They ain't seen nothing like me yet. I will make you trapping, make you dream of fools. All things that will work for you Give you the ends of the earth for food To make them see your loved To make them see your loved I didn't intend to bring this one out but I did So we shall just help you understand what's going on This is also um, a sort of hinting to the rapture But this one is out here Warning the conglomerate of people that have broken my heart that like proper god is not ignoring me he's gonna spare my life like all of this attrition that people are enduring us through on some take ancestors or else like you're properly walking in the foreshadowing of the mark of the beast if you don't honor what we believe in all of our demon worship you won't be able to buy or sell you're not going to be able to trade you're not going to be able like uh, for real like i can't monetize a youtube channel i can't do anything i can't buy my own anything unless i follow ancestors here i've been facing death for a minute i wrote all this music two years ago and it's still a thing okay so this is whitney houston's i have nothing it goes a little something along the lines of spare my life uh this one really messes with my voice because whitney houston's voice always messes with my life um but like anyway whatever spare my life shake them oh great i am show i'll never change all my colors are for fools take my life they made me ask for too much just drained out my life and everything that i do they think i have nowhere to look say you're much further think i have nowhere to go a waste you i follow consecrated to your name this passion inside has got me so enslaved say there's nowhere to run so lord won't you close all of their doors i don't want to hurt anymore expose all their lies since they dare to boldly imagine I'm theirs They walked all over me Said I have nothing, nothing, nothing I don't know I have you You, you, you da 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 boo 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 you see through right through their hearts of steel you break down their walls with the strength of your love mm -hmm. show them you knew how they abuse me right through through their maladies survive all scolding to turn from you Lord put in their jaw a hook 
Dragging them further into deeper pits and holes. Blind guides they'll follow. And then after they have been shamed, your passion, oh Christ, with it show they're enslaved. That there's nowhere to hide. And how forever they'll remember their savior. But on you they closed all of their doors. I don't want to hear him anymore. I stayed in their lives, then ensnared your sins to unimaginable despair. Then walked away from him, despite having nothing, nothing, nothing. Don't keep me closed open the door i don't want to burn anymore praying for their lives now that they're there but cast out and gnashing in despair because they walked away from seed warned don't walk away from him you're ensnared walk away from sin and now they have nothing, nothing, nothing Cause they wouldn't have you Cause they wouldn't have you But Christ did love you Oh, but you refused, refused mm, And Sentra, yeah That's like, it. this song is sad Anyway, y'all, yeah, I just wanna like read from where it is that I said Um you see right through their hearts of steel you break down their walls with the strength of your love mm. show them you knew how they'd abuse me right through show them you knew how they'd abuse me right through so show them you knew that they would abuse me meaning that i am completely under god's sovereignty through their maladies survive all oh, scolding to turn from you through their maladies i nonetheless survived all scolding of my person to turn from you and then the prayer was lord put in their jaw a hook like vladimir putin or like gog lord put in their jaw a hook dragging them further into deeper pits and holes blind guides they'll follow and then after they have been shamed your passion oh christ with it show they're enslaved that there's no way to hide and how forever they'll remember their savior Mm, that's really sad like put a joy in their hook god indeed says in his word that he's going to send them a strong delusion that they will believe the lie because they've not loved the truth and have taken pleasure in their unrighteousness but let the rapture open their eyes to see that that's what's going on as they followed after their own passions then after they have been shamed your passion oh christ so the death of jesus with it show they're enslaved the fact that they have persecuted his christians to death and that there's no way to hide you can't hide from god and if you hide and you think that you're gonna get away with all this murder with your nihilism and how forever you'll remember your savior in how forever you'll remember jesus in how forever they'll remember their savior but on you they closed all of their doors i don't want to hear him anymore in other words they said we don't want to hear about jesus anymore they stayed in their lies they stayed in their lies and then they ensnared your saints to unimaginable despair they walked away from jesus despite having nothing they were pitiful blind and poor just like the laodicean church and now they're going to be singing this in eternity if they don't repent don't keep me closed open the door in other words please don't keep me closed and how open the door i don't want to burn anymore praying for their lives now that they're there they're praying for their lives now that they're in hell but cast out and gnashing in despair but cast out forever from the sight of god and weeping and gnashing their teeth in despair because they walked away from him they walked away from seed in other words from gospel seed and they were warned don't walk away from him and then we warned them again you're ensnared walk away from sin and now they have nothing 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 because they wouldn't have you you but christ did warn you love you oh but you refused mm. there's a lot more music that i wrote along the, these lines but yeah 
the the dreams that i'm getting <laughs> like i literally saw uh, um a, a, a world a world like a tribulation world I, it can only be a world in the tribulation where a whole new industry had spurred up from the ground a whole new industry had spurred up from the ground you guys creating jobs and everything within the occult not occult space but basically <laughs> guys ish god have mercy within the the catching and the dealing with things that are on the earth space like basically all the ominous creepy crawlies that could ever pierce into the cosmos from the from the eternal plane from the spiritual plane there was literally the earth had i was i'm in south africa so this is not just in the u.s u.s they had literally created entire departments of human beings hired in jobs to deal with demonic activity on the earth like entire jobs were created by the tribulations monstrous sightings <laughs> Let's go in the next part for me to explain that further.